Electric Ely after his awesome main event match tonight. Uh, big news coming out of tonight, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, but before I ask him any questions, make sure you smash the thumbs up, and you also, yes, definitely, and you subscribe if you haven't already. So, first of all, thank you for coming on. Thank you. Did you guys have fun tonight? Oh, absolutely. I had a blast. I've never been to an MPWA show. Uh, this is my first, even with New Breed or MPWA oh, wow. all together. So, Crowd was uh, hot. It was fun. Oh, yeah, it was definitely, and you guys... Uh, kick some uh, ass tonight, so yeah. that's always a good time. Yeah. Uh, so, first, I follow you on social media, uh -huh. and uh, one of the things that I noticed is, like, you're really new to the business. Like, you're, like, six or seven months yes. out of training with yes. House of Truth. Yes. So, how did you get involved in professional wrestling, and what made you seek out Truth Martini for training? So... I grew up being a uh, diehard fan of wrestling. Uh, I remember sitting in my living room with my parents watching Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior, Randy Savage, and then, and then I went on to HBK, Bret Hart, and then I went on to Stone Cold and The Rock, and that was when like, I was every Monday night, no matter what. I was never a WCW guy. I was always a WWE guy. And um, yeah, I, I grew up just loving it. I took time off in high school because it wasn't the cool thing to do anymore to watch wrestling. I went to Detroit Catholic Center High School. No one there watched wrestling. One day I flipped through the channels, like junior, senior year, and I came across John Cena. I, I heard of him, but I didn't watch the business. So when I saw John Cena, I was like, that's my guy. And then um, I fell in love with it since then. Got my undergrad degree from U of M, and then I went and got my master's degree from Walsh College. Oh, uh, got my master's degree, and I told my parents I would always finish my degree before I followed my dream. My dream was pro wrestling. So, age of 28. Um, wow, man. So, you have a, you got like, you got something to fall back on. Yes. You know, but yes, this but, is cool, but, but I mean, this that's is, awesome. This is my dream. So, at 28, I went to the, on the Chris Jericho cruise. That's my all-time favorite, Jericho. I'm so jealous of that. <laughs> I, I'm going this year, too. Um, <laughs> and, um. My brother was there, and he just said, it's now or never. Really? Got back, wrote the check, put it in the mail. I was at the House of Truth in January. And then here you are now. I mean, I've, yeah, so, I've, I've noticed recently you're all over the place. Like, I, now you're going down to, was it War? Yeah, War in Lima. Yep. Yeah, Lima, Ohio. So I'm seeing your face all over the flyers I'm, right now. I'm, I'm just having fun. Mike. Well, you, dude, there is nothing wrong with I that. have a great following. I have great fans. I'm right, a, yeah, there so. is. If, if you're not having fun, why are you even doing exactly. it? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, that's really awesome. So you, you, you go through training, uh, and I, I've interviewed a few guys that come out of the House of Truth. Um, what is it like, uh, you know, without giving out too much information to the fans out there, what's it like training with House, or excuse me, with Truth Martini? So here's the thing, mine's different. Um, oh boy. I showed up there in January, sp getting uh, planned to be trained by Truth Martini. Yeah. First day, he's not there. He had a, he, I think he had a family emergency or something, but didn't really ask much questions. Josh Mavado was the head trainer. Josh Mavado and Dickie Bronson and, a, and, yeah. and, and Caleb Stills and Kevin Calloway. I got to give some credit yeah. to them, too. So, but it was mostly Mavado and Dickie Bronson wow. that trained me. Well, but, I, Mavado's not a bad guy to be trained. Well, Josh, Josh is an incredible human being and right. um, I'm an alien. And, um, but, yeah, I had, it, it was the hardest 12 weeks of my life, mentally and physically, but well, it's paying know, off. I, I don't know if you're familiar with Tommy Vendetta, but yeah. I, I've interviewed Tommy Vendetta, and he's a, he came out of the United States Marine Corps, did eight years in the Marine Corps, or for, excuse me, four years in the Marine Corps. He said, and in the interview today, he said that basically training to be a wrestler was harder than training to be in the Marine Corps. I've, that's so, crazy. You know, that's, I can't even imagine. Yeah, and, and that, that's quote unquote. Uh, so here you are now, and you got shows like MP, uh, MPWA New Breed. Uh, we were talking. I talked about this on my live show Friday night. Uh, one of the things I really like about MPWA New Breed is this, it's it's giving a platform for guys like yourself that maybe some of these guys don't know yet out here. You know, some of the fans don't know yet. And it's giving you guys a platform, and not only are it gives you a platform, it's also giving you matches against guys like Mavado, mm -hmm. you know, guy, you know, Rob Clooney, guys that have been in the business for a while. So, you know, what's it like for you to rub elbows with guys like that? I'm a sponge when I'm around them. Yeah, that's, it's, that's awesome. I literally, I shut my mouth and I just listen, ears wide open. Um, I just take it all in. 
I literally write stuff down. I have a, a notebook where I write down what match I had, how I went down, how many people were in attendance, how I lost, what I could work on. Because nice. I, I talk to people in the back after a match, right. like like my trainer Josh and Dickie, and but other people too. They come up to me and just give me constructive criticism. I love that. I love that. I, I'm not stopping until I'm the very best I can be, and that's I got a long way to go. There's, yeah, that's a great attitude to have. I love that. Uh, you know, so again, I talk about I pay attention to your social media, and I know that you were. I'm not sure exactly. I think was it Pennsylvania? I think it was. And you trade with Booker T. That was that was Minneapolis, Minnesota. Minnesota. See, I I don't mm -hmm. I can't remember everything, but I do know what was that like. Dude? I met him. He's a really cool guy. Uh, what was it like training with him? It, it was just absolutely incredible. I mean, from when I walked up, Mr. Kennedy greeted you. Right at, nice guy too. Awesome guy. Went and shook Booker's hand. There was about 20, 25 of us, and literally for three and a half, four hours, he just. It was basically just basic technical wrestling, and then he'd pick it apart and ask you questions, and he'd call some two other people into the ring, and I literally probably asked him six, seven questions, because I, you know, he's one of the best, two-time right, Hall of Famer, yeah, and sure. he was, for 52 years old, he can still get it done, looks oh, like, yeah, too, he's second jacked. Second black champion yeah. <laughs> in the history of WCW, by the way. Yeah, um, ama is, ama but amazing opportunity, and um, I'm going to Houston in April for my other job, and he invited me to train there for the week. So I will be. So are, you, you're, you're take, are you taking advantage of oh, that? I absolutely, hope so. Absolutely. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Great. Uh, I look forward to seeing you, you know, a year out, two mm -hmm. years out, three years out, and see the progression. Uh, I'm, fr you know, I'm friends with a few guys, and I, you know, I've seen them from the very beginning to where they're at now, three, four years out. So I, I, I really like what you got going on, and you, you get a really good reaction from the fans. So I really look forward to seeing what's going to happen in the future with you. Um, you know, before we get out of here, do me a favor, shoot them your social media, and I'm going to put all that stuff down in the description for you guys so that you can just click it, and then somewhere in here it will probably, like, pop up somewhere too. But check that out. So go ahead, throw that at them. Facebook is Electric Ely. Fan page, go ahead and give it a like. Um, and then my Instagram is Eric Ron Ely. Nice. That's, awesome. Yeah. So do you, you have YouTube? I do. So I have a YouTube channel. It's I'm trying to I'm trying to get it going. I used to do like back in the day like food challenges and then, right. and workouts and stuff. I I'm about to bring that back. Mostly I'm gonna do. I want to start like indie traveling and I want to grab an indie wrestler to come with me to the gym. I want them to put kind of like Seamus does on his channel gotcha. where yeah. they're gonna put me through a workout. Gotcha. So Movado's gonna put me through DDP yoga. Bronson's gonna put me through like a. That's really cool. Yeah. I like that. I yeah. really like that. So yeah. So Kevin yeah. Callaway wants to put me through like a endurance cardio workout because he's insane in the ring he doesn't get tired cool. so so look yeah. for that uh what's that channel i think it's degeneration fit is what i that, call that yes i remember yes. That. degeneration fit yeah. or something like that. so That'll we'll look the, for that yeah. i will post that down there too check that out and look for these videos that he's going to have coming out uh because it's going to be really cool because he's definitely not little like me <laughs> so thanks again buddy Appreciate thank you it. very good awesome